Hello and welcome to another episode of Poke Openings. Today we've got a quite heavy Darkness Ablaze theme going on with this episode. In front of us we've got the Darkness Ablaze Elite Trainer Box and three double packs, um, which I'll explain slightly in a second, and a sneaky single pack of Darkness Ablaze that I kind of bought while I was passing my local game store. So I'll explain these very briefly. Everyone knows what an elite trainer box is, so there's there's no need for context with that. But these, uh, just in case you've not seen them, um, at the moment they're selling double packs, which comes with a Darkness of Players pack and a Rebel Clash pack for the same price as a single Darkness of Players pack. Now, I'm not fully sure why this is, but basically everywhere I've looked, and I've seen three different retailers now, put up this on its own, or this for the same price, so I don't know if maybe they overprinted Rebel Clash and they're just trying to get rid of packs or something, I'm not sure. But regardless, I took advantage and I bought three packs, which was actually insanely cheap. And as a side note, I think maybe the cheapest I've ever bought a pack of Pokemon cards for. So today we're going to rip these open, not rip them open, we're going to gently open them um, and then get onto the Elite Trainer box and that. So I'm putting them to the side because we're going to do it in chronological order. I'm going to open all of these to get the Rebel Clash packs out and start with them. So without further ado, let's begin. Um, so yeah, so I've actually, I actually bought two of these packs and opened them, uh, opened them off video, which is a shame because um, between them all I got like... Uh, I got quite good pulls. I think I got a V Max and a V card um, from two different packs, obviously. So I, I do kind of regret now not filming that, but hey ho, that is the nature of it. Um, doing this as quickly as I can, and the third one here. So yeah, if you get a chance, you're into Pokemon cards, uh, take a look at like anywhere that sells them. Because there's a decent chance they've still got some of these. Now I know they've been selling really well because they're really cheap so it might be sold out in some places but uh, anyway right I'm gonna go order everything um, in the correct order and stuff. Put those to the side and I'll be right back. All right so I've put all the packs there so as I mentioned we're gonna do Rebel Clash first. Let's move those there. And also this pack I'm really interested in because it's hard to see on camera I think maybe but there's a real severe edge there, like the, the, the pack is really weird, it feels like it's been like machine flattened or something, which isn't the case, oh actually that's a little bit. Anyway, it doesn't affect the actual packs. So let's crack these open, so there's a double of Rillaboom, so let's uh, crack one of these open. Uh, actually, do you know, I don't think I have, um, so I didn't buy many Rebel Clash packs, this isn't, um, any reason in particular, but at the time I was sort of sorting through the other Pokemon cards that I hadn't sorted through yet, and I thought eh, I could probably do with like a bit of a um, a bit of a break or something. So I kind of skipped that set a little bit. Anyway, right, let's see what we get in pack number one. Start off with the Psychic Energy. Oh, okay, we've got Oliana. Hey, Alexio, very nice. I like, I love the Shinx line. Um, we've got a Draclock. Is that what it's called? The middle one? Draclock? Do you know, I genuinely don't think, because I know Dragapult is the last one and Dreepy's the first one. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, we've got a Gal Galarian Corsola. I, f I completely forgot about Galarian Corsola. We've got a Binacle. Ooh, yo, yo, that's a really cool Scyther there. Uh, we've got a, no, that's not a reverse Volibee, it's a regular Volibee, very nice. Oh, a reverse is not this card either. It's a Dreepy. Hey, there we are. So we've got a Helioptile, very nice. Uh, reverse Hollow, obviously. And our rare is a Ninetales. Very cool. I thought I was fighting for a second and got very confused. Nice. All right then, so I'm going to try and adjust the camera angle a little bit, so BRB. There we are, I'm going to have to do it from there. Unfortunately, the light uh, the light from the room is directly above me, which means that if I face down at all, 
it kind of blocks all out. Let's go with the Rillaboom pack again and let's save the um, the Sharp Boy until the end. Uh, again, I don't think it's actually going to change anything, but you know, it's always... Uh... Oh man, that was a big wad of glue there. So can we pull at least a V or something? That would be pretty cool. Or oh, just a hollow as well, that would be nice. Uh, fire energy, no, water. All right, ah, much better, there's not as much shadow here. Uh, we got an Indeedy, Indeedy, oh, oh okay, cool. Uh, we got a Charger Bug, very nice. That's a Sun and Moon, okay, cool. Uh, Metaphor, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. For some reason, sorry, I thought um, Rebel Clash only featured like Sword and Shield Pokemon, but no, that was base set, doesn't it? We've got a Toxel, very nice. Man, I love, um, why can't I think of Toxel's evolution? Um, the the electric one, uh, we'll, we'll see in a minute, I'm sure. Galarian Mr. Mime, very, I was going to say nice, but he, he's just creepy. We've got a Snova, a Pidov, very cute. Hey, Galarian Darumaka. Very uh he, he doesn't he doesn't look like he's having a good time to be honest. Hey, an Applin, very cool. Can we get a flapple? That would be nice. And uh, Yo okay then we did indeed pull the V. Nice okay, Malamar V. Yo look at that man, that is that is some sick card art. Honestly, my pulls from these like, uh, like double pack things have been amazing. I I highly recommend everyone just go to your like local game store or wherever sells Pokemon cards nearest to you. See if they've got some, cause like, damn. I I mean I, I don't think it's actually like changed the like seeding of packs or anything. I think you've still got the same chance. But uh, I don't know. I've just had very good. Look, oh yeah, that was that one, wasn't it? That fell. Cool, so this is our final Rebel Clash, and we've saved the best starter for last. Yes, that's right. I I said it. Uh, let's crack it open and put the code card to the side, four to the front. And let's begin with fire. Yeah, hey, fire. Nice. Okay then. Uh, okay, so uh, let that focus a little bit. Hey, we've got Sonia. Very cute. I do like Sonia. Uh, Pelipper. A Bronzong. Very cool. Uh, that's Nova again. Looking very interested. Or a footprint. Very interested. Uh, Pidov again. Galarian Darumaka again. Ooh, Hatena! Oh yeah! I completely forgot about Hatena. I really like um, Hatena's final evolution. Man, I am drawing a blank on so many um, Sword and Shield Pokemon today. We've got a Scyther. Oh, a Reverse is Unpheasant, which I think may be a rare. So that's cool, Reverse Rare. I'll take one of those. And our final one is an Alcremie. Very cute. I wonder if the... Um, I wonder if they plan on making all the Alcremies in the cards, because that's, what, like 60 different versions or whatever, with all the colour combinations and the sweet combinations. That would be uh, a nightmare to collect, quite frankly. Didn't they do something similar with um, that butterf butterfly from um, X and Y as well? That you could, uh, different regions had different versions of it on their cards? I can't remember, I could be wrong. Right, okay, next up is the three um, Darkness of Blaze packs from the double packs. So yet again, we've got a double pack art. So this time, I'm going to go Charizard, Sizzlepeed, Charizard, I think. There we go. Can we pull a VMAX Charizard? Um, I know a lot of sets, you can never tell if Charizard's in or whatever, but being as he's a Pac-Mon, I'm 99% sure every Pokemon, every set that has a Pokemon that features on the front has that card in it, if that makes sense, as like a, a GX or a V or whatever. Right, let's begin with Leaf Energy. Uh, Simipo, okay, cool, nice. 
Uh, oh, yay, Kovasquaya. Very nice. Man, I really like the Kovasquaya line as well. Lunatone. Kind of cute. Panpo. Okay, so the monkeys are back. Cool. There's no escaping them. Uh, we've got a dark spinnerack. Weird, I'm used to seeing it as a grass. Oh, well, because it's a bug. We've got a 3D bone sweet. Hey, Dunsparce! Okay, that made up for all the monkeys. Uh, final dig. Hopefully it's not his final dig. I want Dunsparce to live a long, fulfilled life. Electric Man, what is it with Electric cards recently, right? There's like, there's a few sets now where Electric has had some incredible artwork for its cards, and it's like so weird. But you know, it's nice as well. Hey, we got a Taurus doing a kind of Jojo pose kind of thing there. Looking down on us, okay, reverse Taurus, and... Yo! Shit, son! Okay then, well, these double packs are basically, if none of these even have a hollow or ever, I've still managed to pull two out of six packs with a V in, and it's Butterfree V, which I love Butterfree, it's, it's one of my favourite. I uh, kind of wish it was Butterfree VMAX, I don't know if there is a VMAX Butterfree in this set, but mainly because it's a Mothra reference from Godzilla, and Mothra is one of my favourite uh, sort of monster people. So, let's put that to the side, we got two packs left. Honestly, um, yeah, honestly, I don't mind what I get now. To, like, I, I, I could get just rares and stuff. I mean, I'd quite like another V or something, or maybe a hollow, you know, something like that. But, I don't know. Ooh, there goes my code card. Okay, uh, right. Four to the front. Fighting. No, dark. It is the opposite. Oh, well, dark's weak to fighting. We've got a Gotharita. Very nice to see that line back. Hey, Piers! One of the best gym leaders, hands down. A powerful star energy, or a powerful colourless energy, I suppose. What does that do? Ah, that's cool. So it counts, obviously, as a colourless, but also does 20 more damage to your opponent um, before weakness and resistance. Cool. Got a Jigglypuff. Hey, Diglett. It's kind of weird seeing regular Diglett. Is that a Diglett statue behind it as well? Is that, is that a door or a statue that looks like Diglett? Either way, I want to visit there. Diglett land sounds like the best. Panpour again, Spinarak again, Bone Sweet again, a reverse... Yeah, there is reverse, good. Daydane? Ah! Oh wait, no. Yeah, this is weird now, sorry, seeing all fairies as psychic types. I, I still will take a while to get used to that. And our rare is an Escavalier. Very nice artwork. Very dynamic and stuff. Pretty darn cool. Right, and that leaves us with one more pack. I mean, quite honestly, um, after the Malamar V and the Butterfree V, like, I can't think of anything I really want now, to be honest. So, uh, you know, obviously I'd quite like, like a secret rare or something. That would be cool, or a super rare, or a full art, but... We'll see. Right, so let's begin with a Psychic... Ooh, do you know, we've not had a double of any of the energies in these six packs. We begin with a... Whoa! That is a cool bit of Ursaring artwork there. That is... Damn! That's awesome. Okay, cool. We've got a Heat Fire Energy. Interesting. So that probably does stuff for Fire Pokémon, of which Simiseer is one of them. He's... Eating, I think, berries that he's cooking himself. Hey, we got a Carablast, obviously, because the Scavalier is in the set. Oh, yo, son, it's Meltan. Is this the first Meltan card I've pulled? I think. I've, I, I can't think of any other Meltan cards I've seen. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Because it's kind of like a Go exclusive. You've got a Marini. Oh, a Purloin, looking very winky there. A uh, different kind of Starly. Wait, no, it was Piddove in the last set, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, were it reverse? Yeah, no, it is reverse. These reverses are a little bit duller, if that makes sense. It's sort of like, don't stand out as much. Anyway, we got a Pan Sage reverse. Yay, everyone poggers in the chat. And we've got a Manectric as our rare. Very cool. Honestly, the artwork is somehow less epic than Electric. Um, which you'd think would be the other way around. Um, right, and 
before I crack this bad boy open, let's see if I managed to... Was it worthwhile stopping by my local game store uh, to buy a single Darkness of Blaze pack? And the only reason uh, it's the single one and not the double pack is they were fresh out of the double packs and I kind of felt bad sort of going there and not buying anything because, you know, I want to support smaller local businesses, especially at the moment. So, you know, if you do want to get Pokemon cards, maybe find a local game store. They'll appreciate your things a lot more than like Amazon or something. Anyway, Psychic Energy. Hey, Ariados! That's, yo, it's been a while since I've seen Ariados in card form as well. Ooh, Doug... Wow, that's a very classic looking Doug Trio there. It's like Ken Sugimori-esque art, but obviously like touch up. Uh, we've got a billowing smoke, or well, it's more a smoke machine, I suppose, but that's the team yell thing, I suppose. We've got a very cute spinner rack to go with that Ariados. A Larvesta looking up at a volcano, very cool. A Hippopotas. Uh, next up, hey, Golet, nice. I, I like... Uh, like to see my boys, the sort of weird ones represented. Skitty, not really a weird one, but you know. Oh, a reverse Doug Trio. I'll take that. That's pretty darn cool. I really like that artwork. It's just like simple, you know. Ah, no, a rare was a muck. Not even a Nalolan muck. Well, was it worth the. Was it worth buying the single pack? Not necessarily. But you know, I didn't have muck, so. That's something, I suppose. Right, I'm gonna go put those packs like in the back or something, uh, and then we'll crack this bad boy open. B R B. All right, we're back, and it's time to crack open this elite trainer box for Darkness of Blaze. As we can see in the front, we've got Eternatus uh, in his red colouring, um, and on the back we've got the outline of everything you get in there. But obviously, we're gonna go through that in a second, so there's no need to read that really. Um, yeah, honestly, with, with all those, like, incredible pulls and stuff, I, man, I, I don't know what to expect anymore. Like, um, obviously a VMAX card would be cool, I guess, um, because there's, the, there's less VMAX cards, obviously, than Vs in a set. Uh, obviously a full art would be amazing as well. Um, yeah, we, we'll see what we get. So, anyway... I'm going to pull that apart in a second. Actually, I'm going to pull this apart right now and I'll be obby. Alright then, so um, as usual, it is too big for me to fit fully on my camera, so I'm just going to show you guys. So that is Eternatus VMAX, I do believe. That looks like uh, everyone's favourite Kanto starter Charizard VMAX. That, um, oh, it's not Morgren, is it? I can't remember his name now, I'll put it at the bottom here, but... That's his VMAX, and this is Center Scorch VMAX, I do believe. An interesting um, array of Pokemon, or like VMAX things. Obviously, Charizard is the big chase of this set, as I mentioned previously. Um, we've also got this booklet. Honestly, I'm really liking the um, the kind of, I don't know, the, the like drop of water kind of thing. Um, so this, as with everything else, will give you like a um, a brief guide to kind of... Hey, there we are, I pulled that. Cool. Um, yeah, there we are, and that's the VMAX. I really want that card. That would be amazing. Um, just kind of gives you strategies and stuff, and then there's the card list at the back. But we're not going to look at that, because that will spoil things, maybe. Ooh, right, okay. I'm happy to see this. So, um... If anyone watched my uh, 250 subscriber special, I opened up the Sword and Shield Elite Trainer box and that had the same kind of like thing where there was a bit of a V going on, kind of, to fit in. I'm glad to see that has returned. That's so, right, this has one extra thing on top of other Elite Trainer boxes I've noticed. So I'm going to take out this card. Yet again, this can be flattened. Ooh, yeah, I kind of like that. I'm going to put that in the background there. Um, so, I'm going to grab the obvious things. We've got the sleeves, 65 of them. Always very good to have. I will grab one, actually, just in case we happen to pull 
a secret rare or something. It's unlikely, but you never know. With the uh, with the pull rate we've had at the start of this video, anything is possible. Uh, we got the code card, which I'm going to keep to the side. We've got all the energies. I'm not even going to open them. That's weird. Okay, so they've discontinued fairy as a type, which is fair enough, but they're still giving fairy energy. I mean, it's kind of cool, because fairy and cards still exist, and they're still in rotation and stuff, but I kind of expect them to stop doing that. We got the um, the four separator things, so this side we've got a kind of close-up of his face, and this side, ah, okay, it's stuff with the background, very nice. And we have, hang on, so we have the burn and the poison counters. That's weird. There's really a GX thing in here. Did they not give me a GX thing? Oh, yeah. Obviously, because there's no GXs anymore, is there? I don't know what to change the rules then. Okay. And that are these are the dice. Let's see. Can we find the set symbol? There it is. It's kind of like three things. Useful, I suppose. This is the third set of sword and shield, so... It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to grab this for a second. Just the packs then. Okay, cool. So this is interesting. This is a um, card game rule book. Um, I'm presuming they kind of just give this away with any Sword and Shield thing. I say that because those are the, um, obviously, pack designs from Sword and Shield. So I'm guessing this just kind of tells you how to play the game and stuff. Um, which is, you know, to be fair, it's useful, and it is a bit weird, thinking of it, that an Elite Trainer box has all of this stuff for play, but not, like, a rule book or whatever. And, of course, we have eight packs, so I'm going to go tidy everything up, chuck everything back in the box, put, like, array these out, and then we'll crack into these, so be obby. One uh, other thing to add as well, if you can see, there's a slight, like, shiny blue detailing on Eternatus there. That is very cool. Um, also, this is a darn good looking box. That is, um, I'm really digging the kind of, like, non-symmetry of it, if that makes sense. It's, it's weird, it's sort of eye-catching. And I'm glad to say that they've given us two of each pack design, which is fantastic. So, um... We'll go from left to right, really, because the pack designs don't actually matter. Right, let's crack in. How many Vs can we pull? Oh, I've destroyed this pack already. Hopefully that means it's going to destroy me with its epic pulls. No, okay, no, that, that wasn't very good. Also, it just didn't open very well. There we go. Right, four to the front. Let's go with electric energy, shall we? No, it is dark. Okay, let's begin. Oh, we got a clang. Very nice. Oh, it was Kling Clang when I went through Sword and Shield first time. Hey, we got a Dartrix. Very nice. Hey, Psychic DNA. Still not used to that. We've got Paris. Uh, sorry, is the fo there we are. Focus is getting a bit better. We've got Goth Eater. Hey, Skarmory. Very nice. Yee, Cubchoo, just wanted to give you a hug, despite the fact that there's mucus in front of it. We've got a Wimpod. Oh, a Steeny uh, Reverse, very cute. And our Rare. Oh, oh, okay, I pulled that down by mistake, sorry. That was, yo, okay, it's a VMAX. It is a Salamance VMAX. Very nice. Damn, boy, that is, oh, and it's normal. That's very weird. That should be a dragon card, no? They did keep dragon cards, didn't they? But damn! Okay, wow, that is a, <laughs> that's an incredible first pack uh, to start the Elite Trainer box off with. Very nice. I'm just going to quickly check his number. Okay, so this is indeed 144 out of 186. So this isn't a super rare or anything, I don't think. Because um, normal type cards are always the last um, in terms of like the... Uh, the, the set, for whatever reason, like grass is first, then it's water, no, fire, sorry, then it's water. Then electricity, fighting and psychic, I think. Man, these packs are just ripping these packs open then. Okay then, cool, let's just decimate that. Let's crack this open, uh, put the code card to the side, 
and begin with steel energy. I was going to say normal energy, but then I realised that's not actually an energy you can get. Okay, we've got a Poopitar, very nice. A Cove Squire. Ooh, a Hiding Darkness energy. I'm kind of liking the like special energies and stuff for this set. Got a Jigglypuff. A Diglett next to Diglett Door or Diglett Shrine or whatever. Panpole. We've got a Spinarak, a Bone Sweet, Reverse Vanillite, and our rare it is Clink Clang. There we go. Nice. I've got. I don't have a clink. I don't think. Hey, that rhymed. Um, yeah, there we are. Cool. So I'd like to pull a clink, which probably isn't going to be very hard because it's a normal type. Right. Third pack's a charm. Can I open this like a normal? Regular human. No, I can't. Okay. There's something up with like the glue or something, I think, because it's just not opening very uh, very tidily, which is a shame. Because I like to try and keep some of these packs in good condition. Um, they're not going to be worth anything or anything, but, you know, I, I still like looking back on them sometimes. So, code to the side. Four to the front. Let's begin with the fighting. No, nope, psychic. All right then. Okay, Fletch, uh, Fletchinder. I was going to say Fletchling then. Hey, Gotharita. Can we pull a go Gothy? No, uh, Gothitel. Is it? Kabu. Ah, yes, the third gym leader. Fun fact: I actually struggled with Kabu when uh, I played Sword and Shield. Hey, Dunsparce. Very nice. That epic-looking Electric again. The slightly unnerving Galarian Mr. Mime. We've got a Grimer. I thought that was reversed for a second. I was like, man. We've... Hey, there we are. We've pulled a clink. Fantastic. That is the entire line. As I couldn't ask for more. We've got a Dino. Oh, okay. So the Dino line is in this as well. Or Dino, sorry. Very nice. And our rare is a Volcarona. Very nice. Now, something I've noticed, and maybe I'm incorrect here, so tell me if I'm wrong. I've not pulled any hollows at all. I've managed to pull three V cards now and no hollows, which is very weird because it's just like rare, rare V, kind of like nothing, nothing else. Hmm. Okay, so these these cards are packed weird. Uh, the glue is like especially not there or something because they are all ripping. But okay, it's not the end of the world. I still have most of the pack designs from the double packs. All right, Foy no, steel energy. All right then. Let's begin with Bird Keeper. I don't remember seeing Bird Keepers much, actually, in Sword and Shield. We've got a Solrock, a Relicanth. Ah, yes, Relicanth. I keep forgetting you exist. But, whoa, okay, Bunnelby's got a lot going on in the background there. That is, that is, uh, you know one of those, like, adult colouring books? As in, like, colouring books for adults, not colouring books are of adult nature. And sort of, like, I don't know, just reminds me of that. Toxel. We've got a Sinisty. Very cute. A Carablast. A Meltan again. Ooh, Cape of Toughness. Ah, it's Leon's Cape. Leon, of course, being the champion from Sword and Shield. And... Our, okay, there we are. Our rare is a Scizor V. God damn, look at that. So yeah, maybe it's just me, but that really stuck to that other card as well. I've, I've not been able to put, uh, show you the very cool cards uh, today very easily. Yeah, that's awesome, though. Uh, it, it's Honestly, it's been a while since I've pulled a Scizor, and it's been even longer since I think... I've seen like a full art scissor or something, so I'm going to check his number again. 118 and a 189. So presumably a lot of these cards, I don't know if all of them, but uh, a lot of the cards usually in the sets have like secret rares and stuff as well. And occasionally rainbow rares. But that is amazing. So that that's what? Um, four packs now, and that's two Vs out of four packs. That is insane, man. What is up with this set? What is up with the pull rate? Like... Unless I've just had insane luck, maybe, possibly, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, you know, sort of 
saying that's impossible, but like, I've had some really, really good luck this video. Have, have you guys? Let me know in the comments, actually, if you guys have opened up any darkness ablaze. Um, let me know what your polls have been like, because, like, I... Sincerely, it's been a while since I've had a set, especially, like, a normal set, that my polls have been this good. I know, like, the limited sets and stuff, they... They tend to give you better stuff per pull, but that's like, that's a limited set, that's part of the nature of it. But this is just straight normal sets, and um, yeah, I, wow, like honestly pulling V cards is starting to feel pretty standard now, instead, it's very weird. Um, right, let's get on with pack number five, we start with the fire energy. And a Yell Horn for Team Yell, of course. Hey, that really cool Ursaring card again. Very nice. Hey, Pulty Geist to go with that Sinisty we pulled last pack. Very nice. We've got a Marini uh, looking a bit grumpy, as it always does, actually. Purloin. We've got Starly. <laughs> You're on looking very interested in whatever it is you have to say. Cub Chew again, looking for that hug. We've got a Nicket, which is the reverse. And our rare is a Hoopa. Ah, okay, never mind. There are there are hollows in this set. I guess I've just kind of had the both extremes. It's either a rare or a V. It's nothing in between. Hey, there we go. This is Hoopa Unbound, I do believe. Uh, it's Unbound form. Very cool, though. Assault Gate. That sounds like quite a dangerous move. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, in these videos, I do not stop to read things, but it's probably maybe... It's either a good card or a bad card, because it only has one attack. Uh, and usually, those type of cards tend to sort of either be incredibly useful or sort of will have drawbacks that are so strong it just makes everything pointless. Uh, oh, okay. That Was that the other... S the other way? No. What did I open now the other way, actually? Yeah, sorry. Okay, never mind. Let's start with the fighting energy. And get on to a turbo patch. Hang on, let's let that focus. There we go. Turbo patch. Hey, Dartrix again. I'd love a Decidui, maybe. Hey, Staravia. Oh, to go with all those Starlies you pulled. Skitty. Pansage again. Yay. We've got a Golette. Very nice. Vanillite, looking at some Christmas trees. A trap inch on the beach. Ooh, reverse carnivine. Very cool. I forgot carnivine. Wait, is carnivine in Sword and Shield? I think it is. And a re hey, there we are, is a Gothitelle, um, which I mentioned offhandedly earlier, because we pulled some Gothitas and Gotharitas. Yeah, Gotharita's is the middle one, isn't it? So that's kind of nice. Um, Let's see, what are the, what are the, like, line would I like to see the conclusion of? So I'm going to try and open it this, no, okay, I'm never going to open it that way. That's going to ruin it. Okay, cool. Eee, that did not open like normal either. Okay, well, this is the penultimate pack. I would say, can we pull something crazy? But, like, we've already pulled two Vs, which... To me, is already pretty insane. So, like, I, I don't know, man. Like, I'm definitely up for pulling more cool stuff. Don't get me wrong, but like, two V's per per lead trainer box is a pretty good standard. Right, let's begin with the leaf energy and get in to Shinotic. Shinotic's very cute. I keep forgetting. <gasps> I keep forgetting it exists. Yo, there's Flaffy in here. That means there's a Mareep. Why have I not pulled a Mareep at all? In all of the packs I've opened, why is Mareep not shown up once? Carnivine. I really love Mareep. Aha! Oh, very cute Teddy Ursa to go with that really cool Ursa ring. Uh, kind of cool pants here, not gonna lie, that is kind of cool there. Hey, Molal to go with the Shinotic. Wishy Washy, very nice. A Q Fant, very cute. A Bird Keeper Reverse, very nice. And a rare. Oh, yo! Hello! Is Wait, is that not even hollow? I can confirm the Lugia card is not even hollow. Hooper, for some reason, is hollow, which is fair enough, it's a legendary Pokemon. Lugia, however, is not. I, 
I don't understand, guys. Did you did you not want to give it the hollow treatment? It's literally a legendary. Oh man, I love Luya. That's really cool artwork as well. It's actually nice to see him sort of in a slightly different pose than usually. Like the, a lot of depictions of Luya, why you think it's a cool Pokemon of just being like, here's its wing and its face or something, or sort of like, look, it's flying, and it's like, okay, but can it be doing something? And it was indeed doing something. Right, this, for some reason, has opened really well. Is this some divine sign that the last pack is going to be amazing? There's only one way to tell by by going through the pack. Ooh, electric energy. I haven't pulled that yet, I don't think. Ooh, okay, Combusket. Man, there's so many different lines in this set. Oh my god. Okay, so we got Combusken. Very nice. A Glimwood Tangle, that like really creepy forest thing. We've got a Leron to go with a very interested Aeron. Very nice. Hey, Rowlet. There we are. First time I've seen Rowlet. That's very weird. Like you'd think. I'm sure I've seen Dartrix twice now. We've got a Jigglypuff. Hey, Diglett by Diglett Gate. That Panpaw keeps popping up. Spinarak also keeps popping up, but he's cute, so I'll leave him pass. We've got a reverse bone suite. Can we end on a high? No. Okay, well, <laughs> we've got a Manectric, which I think is a double, because I think I pulled, didn't I pull a Manectric? One of the first packs from the double packs. Well, that about wraps up this episode of Poke Openings. Thank you very much for watching. I've got some incredible pulls this episode, actually. Um, I know maybe, I don't know if it works out at a really good pull rate, or maybe an average one, but that's like... Four V cards, four. That's incredible. That that's gen. Like I've done, I've done double Elite Trainer Box openings where I've pulled like one EX or something. So that is that is fantastic. Um, but yeah, sorry. This, this is a bit of a long video. Uh, as always, I will leave a playlist at the end for like other poke openings things, and like a random video that YouTube recommends to you. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. And until next time. Goodbye.